Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. Hello everybody. So here we are doing poinsettia petals again. I have some, I hope, cute cards. And I got today, and I'm going to use it, I'm going to use it. Hi, Karen, Barbara, Fran. I got the mini. I got it. It's got to go that way because I'm a righty. So we're going to be using that tonight. Just for, I think, one. Just to show you. So we're going to start out with... Oh, I just threw some over. With this card. This one, I'm not going to do anything but put it together. So, on vellum, I embossed in silver. And then, silver foiled paper, I dry embossed with the dies. Two of those. Oh, and it would help to have the card backing. So we've got that too. So fairly easy. The first card I did, I didn't waste any of that. I cut one out of it, but I didn't on this one. So we're going to go ahead and just put this together quickly so we can get to the other stuff. And I have the new tape runner, and I, I'm just so used to grabbing for the glue. But it really does, the stamp and seal, it, it really does hold pretty well. Just have to remember not to um, flick it. Because then it moves it over. And I can't even tell you how many of these I ripped off. I haven't been feeling well for the last few days, so I am truly not myself. And let me just do this a little bit. Okay. So... On these, I am going to use, and I am going to use this a bigger one, biggie, because it's not going to be seen. Whoa. And then this one, I will pop up as usual. And I'm only going to fluff them this way so <laughs> I don't rip anymore. <laughs> I was just like, oh, oh. Okay. And there's my little piece there. Oh, I hope this doesn't keep cutting out. I hope. All right, so we're going to take and stamp the Merry Christmas, which I should have done first, but it's okay. It'll work, and I want to go that direction. Okay. We'll let that sit there. Look, I still have these sitting there from last week. So we're going to take some of these that I did in red foil. And 
I may as well stick this down. And that goes with three. It's right in front of me. One, two, three. Not four. I want three. And go away, piece. We'll see if I have to snip a piece off. Uh, no, so far, so good. Go. All right, I'm going to wait on the third one because I'm not sure if I'm going to put it there or there. But we're going to take... The banners pick a punch. No, go in more. Don't you love how I talk to my things? And then I need to snip a piece off of this. And do it again. In, in, in. Okay, and then with the red marker, whoops, I want the other side. I know that's still a little wet, the black, so I'm being careful. And this just makes it like you're using another layer, but you're not. So that's going to go right there. And then we can stick this one in. like that so quick and easy so that was card number one I should get rid of my keyboard here before I do something terrible okay card number two is that one Oh, and I forgot to put this through. Ta-da! All right, so let's put this part together. Sorry about that. I do hate to do that. And I didn't score it. Hmm. Hmm. So much for being ready. So we'll just do the fake score. It's good. It's good. And we may as well get that ready too. And work directly on the card. Because then if you make a really bad mistake, <laughs> you get to throw the whole thing out. So I got garden green and crumb cake and then the DSP. So this I cut at, I think, two and a half by four and a half. Let's see if I was right on that. Two and a half by four and a half. Yuppers. Finally did something right. some going up so I guess they're going doesn't matter so I did that in the middle okay so let me show you 
the technique that I used for this. Now this one I used Poppy Parade and these I used Real Red. Those are Garden Green and then this is Soft Sea Foam. So I'll do it on the on the big one. So I did fall in love with using brown to stamp these rather than black. And I want to make sure I clean this because I have to use it again. Uh, spritzer, spritzer, spritzer. One of my cards has a little red in it because I didn't clean it. <laughs> okay. Let me put this down there and get that little piece. So then there's this little piece in there. So I took that and stamped it. One. Oh, that's going to be messy. So stamp it in each of the petals. I'm guessing you got your mini. I did, Tony. I got it. Okay, so then, and I'm just going to open this and use, whoa, use that just to put some water in it so that it's not all over the place but I really don't need to use that ink so then with the ink that's there I just took and smushed it around and just don't worry about you know, leave in white space, because when it's all dry, it looks great. I mean, I think anyway. Uh, do I need that again? I don't know. So then, like, it doesn't take long before you can put it in the machine. I wonder, which one am I putting through the machine? Maybe I'll bring this one back and do that, too. So then we're going to, and you can see, like where I stamped that one like over and over so it was longer and then this one has a five petal one that you can just do it like at once and spread it it's pretty cool so let's glue this together and again I am not smushing it because I know I'm gonna mess up Because I'm like a bull in a china shop with this headache, neck ache, arm aches. Oh, this one I'm going to mount. Oh. So let's put that there. And then I will try to do... Okay, so I know I was like really cool last time and did, you know, like three colors. I'm not this time. I'm just going to do, this is the Dark Mango Melody. So I'm just filling them in. Nothing cool about me tonight. <laughs> and I'm just going to bend them. Because I'm tired of ripping them. But this works too. So. And then you don't have to push anything through it. Okay. I glued that down. This is going to be. Oh, I didn't clean that one. But where did I put it? Oh, I got it.
Okay. So we're going to take the garden green. Garden green. And I made this one wider than the other one. Oh, yes, I did. Well, it's going to be wider. It doesn't matter. Let's just hope it fits in the punch. I'm going to chop a little bit off of it. Oh, but I do know the trick to do that. we got to turn it over. Oh, it does. No, it doesn't. All right, so once you get it in there, you're going to even it up. Maybe. In. It's going to be a little cockeyed because, oh, this will work. So I'm going to push it over. Well, maybe if I wasn't holding it with my finger over there, it would go. Well, let's hope for the best. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, we can get rid of that. So that's going to go there, but first we want to go around that one in green. And for that, I grabbed uh, one of these guys. Yep. Okay, so that's going to go there. We're going to do the same three. One, two. Ooh, I got three at once. So remember how I said I had to move my garbage because I kept dropping things in it? I found two stamps on blocks in there <laughs> when I was bagging everything up I said I'm just gonna like take it handfuls at a time yep they were right at the bottom okay so now that I know where that's gonna go I can put this down and I want to push it out to the edge So this was like three quarters or I don't think it was quite an inch or it would have fit in there better. Okay, so then these, you can just like fold them in half to give them some dimension. You can even, well, bend that up. And then, let's see if I remember what I did. Oh yeah, I do. So what I did was I wanted to make them look like they were really sticking up. So it's glued down there. So I don't need to bend that one. That was the idea before I put a thing. So we're going to put some glue there. And that there. It is so hot in here, but I'm going to be using, no, I want that there, glitter in a minute. So I had the fan on today and it was like all over. You could still see some of it. So fold it in the middle. you're still awake and then that's going to go there and that is card number two real red and poppy I don't know which one I like better I think the poppy okay card number 
three coming right up. Yeah, I'll do the glitter. Yeah, so here, here is the card. I like it. There's a piece we're going to put through the machine. So I have two of these done. So I guess I need the small one. And these are all done. Fingers not working either. Yeah, yeah. And then I have two of these in case I make a mistake. Why don't I just do that? Oh, good thing I looked. Okay, so these I cut out, fussy cut, out of that velvety paper. So the first thing we're going to do with that, let me get a piece of paper under here because I'm going to need it for the glitter. Make sure I'm on the right side, right side. So you want it fuzzies up, fuzzies up. And then I'm going to take Dark Poppy Parade and color each of those. What happened to my nail there? So there's one. Oh, it's so hot in here. There was frost on the cars this morning. It was 37 when we got up. And then it was somewhere in the 50s in the afternoon with the sun, like a very warm sun. It was nice. But I went to take the dogs out, and I was like, oh, no, I need a little sweater this morning. Okay, so we have those ready. Ooh, the machine. Okay, so I've already put some stuff on it, but I'm going to do it again because it's been a while. That's the wrong one. That is the right one. Okay, so there's two steps to this. We are coming out with some sticky embossing powder. It's coming back, but I have this from Ranger, which I don't like as much as I liked what we used to sell. And like what we had was really good. So first, we're going to stamp it in Versamark. Then we are going to dump some of the sticky embossing powder. You want to make sure you have a good coating of it. Off with you. Oh. Very good, Gail. Just put the paper on top of it. Yes, I messed up a little part of the petal. Okay. So now once you have that done, let's get our glitter ready. Weddy! You're going to take, and you'll see this go shiny. So as soon as you see that, it's ready. It's ready. Then you're going to dump this over it. As soon as I'm done with this, the fan's going back on. 
just saying. And I'm going to give it a second coat. Move it to the side. Oh, look how much neater it is without the fan on. Okay, then we're going to bring this back. Now, you want to take your heat gun and go over it again to set it. Once you have set it, then you can take your big old makeup brush, brush the extra glitter off of it, and you have that. So let's cover this up like I should have done it before. Uh, get rid of the glitter. That's there. That's pretty good. So I'm going to take this and cut it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to raise this a little bit more. I'm going to bring this up. Now I was kind of wondering if I was going to have trouble with my arm using this because I use an electric machine because of my problem. Well, huh, we know my problems. All right, so I think you can see that. And I just want to show you that even uh, this is the second, like this is quite large. Like this is the bigger size and even that fits through there. So you do have quite a big space on here to do, that's the second size. Here's the other one. All right, so, and I did have black marks on them to line them up for when you're, um, nope. I gotta take that off. There's usually one that's a little bit, that goes there. I see it now. Yep. Okay, then put your top plate on it. And all the plates are marked. And then just put it through. Blah, 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 blah. Like I wouldn't want to do a lot of this for myself because that motion would kill me. But it's very handy dandy. So there it is. So then we also have to cut this. What did you put on the paper before you stamped it? Oh, just embossing powder? I got that green one at a um, uh, scrapbook expo. And when I saw it, I went, oh, I won't lose that on my desk. Psh. So this, this machine will be available to customers next month. We were able to pre-order it. So I've got that ready. And that can go over there. Actually, I'm going to put it <laughs> so I don't lose them. This is another Crafter Solutions. Of course, I've been throwing other things in it today. But it's got a little magnetic piece in there so that they stick. But that's all my play pieces. So let me put this. And it's nice and lightweight. So if you're going somewhere and you know not you're not using big background eyes, it's like perfect. I lost one of these. There it is. Oh, it's right here. It's wood on the card. Oh, no, I know that. I was missing all this. I'll find it later. 
and go, oh, I didn't put it in the basket. It's somewhere, just not here. Okay, so now that we got all that, and of course, this will get cut out. It won't be on on YouTube. So we're going to put this. Good thing I know how to edit. Yuck, yuck, yuck. All right, so we put that there. And no, I don't want to do that yet. Because I want to take, if it's still out here. Oh, it is. It is. I want to take this in green. So at first I was going to like color that brown on the inside. But that's too much work. Like it didn't have to be that realistic. It is green before it um, turns brown, isn't it? So it's just not ripe yet. <laughs> it could be anything you want. I just kind of made them all over. Doesn't even have to be neat. Because most of it gets covered up. Okay, that wasn't supposed to get there, though. Oh, fan! Oh, lovely. It's now lovely. All right, so we're going to glue this to that one. Oh, wouldn't it be lovely? So we got that. We're going to put one, just like all the others. And, oh, stick. Oh, I, know, I remember. Because of the glitter, it doesn't like to stick. So we are going to take one of these big ones which it's not going to want to stick to this right now either, but it will. And any overage uh, isn't going to show. Yeah, so pull out that glitter that you got. I know we all have it <clears throat> hidden. Okay, so then there are five, supposed to be six, but that's fine too. We're going to put a little bit of glue there. Make sure your veins are going the same way. And we're going to Put two in there. We're going to put that one there. Where did I put them? And on the other side, we're going to have just one. So that's going to go there. These are going to get some glue and go there. All right, whoops. We're just going to snip off the ends a little bit. B 
betterer. And we may as well just do it before we get started. I only had to do it on one on the other one. And that's going to go there. And then this is going to be the lonely one. I can always tuck one in later if I must. Whoops. I think it's going to be just fine. Now, this doesn't exactly dry right away, and it should. It's just about dry. Nope, oh, it's dry now, because you can see I have some on my finger. But if you did the regular markers, it would really take forever. I think they just make it. Not on my finger. <laughs> okay. Then this piece is going to go right there. And that was from the stitched rectangles. And let's get you a little bit more even. Of course, my ink blotch has to show. Yep. Yeah, I was playing with ribbon for some of them, and I... I I'm just not that much of a ribbon person. I wish I would stop buying it. Oh, I want red. Oh, I decided on this one. I wanted it darker. So that's Cherry Cobbler, but I used the Merry Merlot. And then I got to make sure I clean it again. Because the next one is brown. Okay, and then I took a red marker and went around the side, sides, because there's more than one. And I need a sip of something. That's going to get popped up. Waste not, want not. And flick them off. Hi, Deb. And then I did this off center. I didn't want it like in the center center. And then we will attach it. Ooh. I just crack myself up and then we just want to lay that down wiggle it into place and there we go it's done even though it wasn't ready okay that's done so the last card oh please everything be here I think it is so this is the pearlescent paper. Check that out. Can you see it? It's the same on both sides. So if you make a mistake on one side, you can absolutely use the other. 
this is where I didn't exactly clean my um, stamp, so I have a little bits of red in there, which is fine because, you know, flowers can do that. So I pre-did them, but what I want to show you, and I did use the Tasteful Textile folder, and what is that from Bows? Bows. One of those bows. Oh, Bowser! Beautiful! <laughs> Beautiful bows. Woof! All right, so what I want to show you, but I can't because where's the piece? Yes! Shiny paper. Okay, so I want to show you. I used um, Sahara Sand for this. But here's the thing you need to know. Bunk. Your ink will not stick to this. So what I did is stamped it and very quickly, not as quickly as I'd like to be, got out my clear embossing powder, which I have a lot of. So if anybody needs some, just come and get it. I bought one of those big containers years and years and years ago. And then So that's going to be the trick to, to stamping on this paper. Yippers. But what I do want to try is alcohol inks on it. I think alcohol inks, drip, 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 is going to be awesome on this. I do. And I love how subtle the Sahara sand comes out on that. Love it. Love it. So let's put this card together. So this I use the um, Tasteful Texture Dyes. Whew, I remembered that. And I'm going to use the tape rather than the glue on this paper. And it's like a habit, but when you do that, like all you have to do is just lift up at the end. But that's like a habit. Some habits don't ever die. Because for years we had to check our, our glue. Check this. Lift. Lift. It's very sticky. And that's going to go there. Okay, so let's put this. And again, I did same thing. I should have had them all put together. That would have been the genius thing to do. So that's going to go there. We're going to use, I should try the, no, not tonight. We're not going to try the glue tonight. We're going to do one of these big old, now they're coming in handy, these gigantic ones that showed up on my desk. And then that...
And then I got some of those gold pizza boxes, but I forgot about that until just this second. So yeah, we're not going to mention that again. All right, so for this, I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to pop it up. Although, I didn't pop that one up, did I? What did I do? I don't know. I think I used glue, so let's try it. I just put some glue right there. So I was able to still be still, my heart. Okay. So this was also the um, rectangle dies. And we're going to make sure it's right side up. We're going to get the soft suede. Oh, my desk looks like it does when I stamp. Oh, no, when I stamp, it's much worse. This is nothing. So this piece I cut like an eighth bigger. I think you guys can handle that. We'll have to rewatch. Cat outside. <gasps> I can't stand people who do that. What is wrong with people? Maybe they'll come back for them. Thanks, Andy. Okay, this we're going to pop up. We're going to get rid of that because my hands have been in enough ink. Um, yeah. One, two. Buckle my shoe. And this. It's itching again. That's a burn. Yep. I got a ninja foodie. Be very careful. They get very hot. And we were going to get a new refrigerator, but they're on back order till March. So I said, you know what? Let's wait because with our luck, something is going to go on sale more than this one on one of the other holidays. So let's just hold it, hold off. Yeah, I just wanted to do something a little different on here, and I felt that these went better with the pine cones. Now, this one was supposed to have five, and there's only four. What the? Now I have glue on both sides. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, now I have glue all over. Well... I'll be cutting one more later. Oh, I see it. I got it. Yay. She's got it. She's got it. Ooh. 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 That's going to go a little, a little different because my fingers are now sticky. I've got it. La -di -da. I think we'll cut part of this one off and put it in here. Oh, it's kind of naked over here now, but it'll have to do. Oh, did we forget? Yes. Where's those little stones that I had? I bet here. I bet I forgot to put it on the other one, too. I forgot the stones on that one. Let's see. That's not done. Look. That goes like that. This is what happens when you're a hoarder and you don't use everything you buy. You have plenty left for other uses. Let's do that again. But this time, stay on the flower. Good girl. 
Now, there was also one that had, look at that, I didn't put anything on this one either. Now, there should be some little red stones that were right here all day. I said, there it is. It'll be fine. I'll know where it is. So we're going to put a bunch of these on this one because otherwise it's naked. I meant to do it this way. Decorate them all at the same time. <clears throat> got to come up with different things to entertain you, my dears. Because I'm not about to do a strip tease. Mm -mm. Nope. Oh, there's a Cyber Monday ad. Sale ends today. Get off of my screen. I've spent all my moolah. Okay. Go away. Go. Go away. It's not going away, guys. Go away. Oh. I'll miss out. Now it's gone. Now I can see you guys again. Okay. So let's figure out what I did here. <laughs> Bring them back. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. And if you don't want to wait until next month to get that little thing that little mini you are very welcome to sign up to be a demonstrator and you can pre-order it so there's that one here's that one here's that one how am i high enough and oh goodness we're missing one. Oh no, I have it. Yes. All right, let's do this. One, two, three, and four. Look at that. The so coordinated. Uh, da, da. So there they are. This was take two because I knew I had more ideas up my head. So, but. But I want to tell you something. The layout is basically the same. You're just changing papers and colors. Like, I always do it up to the left side. So, so really, it's just papers and colors and your little extras. So, thanks, everybody. Well, you can watch it on YouTube in a little while without all the... Um, yeah, mistakes. <laughs> I'll be cutting some of those out. Oops, forgot this. Oops, forgot that. And thanks, everybody, for being here. And you know what I'm going to be doing Sunday? Something new, because look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. Embossing folders. Oh, I might wait to put this together in front of you guys, or I might do a little video. And I might buy a second one that I want to cut apart. I don't know. I'm thinking about that. Look at that donkey. Look at that donkey. Dragonfly Garden. This is a Grandma Grandpa set. And you know I'm going to want to color that. This was a... Um, oh, no, that's in the regular one. I'm trying to think which was from the celebration. Hmm, interesting. And then Simply Succulents. So I've got dyes for a lot of them. And these will all be available next month, but I'll be playing with them till from now until then. No more Christmas cards for me. Sunday, 8 o'clock. I'm always at 8 o'clock, except when I color Saturday mornings at 11.30 in the morning right before noon <laughs> so thanks again everybody for being here good night good night alice <laughs> where was susie i didn't see susie i'm sure she was here good night i'm going to bed early